morning, Dad. Don't you ever get sick of it? Come on, girl! Give it to me! Come on! Fuck this mine! Huh? Stop the racket! What's up, Beckett? It's nothing. Get dressed, we're late. Let me see it. It's nothing. Well, if it's nothing, why does your brother look so concerned? That's mine, you can't have it. Nothing is yours! You understand me? Nothing! Where'd you get this? Found it. You're lying. This is a waste of your time. You should be focusing on your work. You think reading this shite is any good to you and your brother? Do you? Now get dressed. Or you'll be late. Feel for well today. With bounty. Oh, and I see Queen Mabeth being with you. For she is the fairy's midwife and comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman. Drawn with a team of small atomies. <laughs> What? Go on. The thwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs are traces of the smoke. The cover of the wings of grasshoppers. You think those idiots are going to notice? Stop it, Samuel! Try it this way. The wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs the cover of the wings of grasshoppers, the traces of the smallest spider. I'm not gonna tell if I miss a beat. You will, and you lose focus, and you trip up. Now try again. Her cover of the wings of grasshoppers, her traces of the smallest spider's web, her collar of the moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film. Is it all right? Queen Mab hath been with you. For well, she is the fairy's midwife and comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an old man. Drawn with a team of small atomies at thought men's noses while they lie asleep. A wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, a cover of the wings of grasshoppers, a traces of the smallest spider's web, a whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film, a wagoner, a small gray-coated mat, not half so big as a round little worm, plucked from the lazy finger of a maid. Time out of mind, the fairy's coachmakers, and then dreams he of cutting foreign throats, of yeah. breeches, of ambuscados, of Spanish blades, of health's five fathoms deep. 
This is the Mab that plats the manes of horses in the night, that bakes the elf locks in foul, sluttish hair, which once untangled, much misfortune bodes. Well, true, I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain begot of nothing more than vain fantasy, which is as thin of substance as air, and as inconstant as the wind, which woos even now the frozen bosom of the north. Being angered puffs away from thence, turning his face to the dew dropping south. I taught you how to do that, kid. No one. Yeah, sure. Good luck, then. It looks like you're gonna need it. Wow, man. <laughs> Best day ever. This is just about cover it. So how much are you gonna give to him? <sighs> give him one. Maybe 200, you pay the rent and blow the rest. Like we should pay the rent. See, it's the rules. Well, fuck those rules. You're a brave one today. I mean, you want to move house again? I mean, we should just go pay the bill and give him whatever's left. It don't work that way. Since when has he ever played by any rules? You know he's just going to blow it all the races or on his drink, whichever he gets to first. Hey, he wins sometimes, you know? You're pretty delusional. He was pissed off because he took your freaking comic, man. Yeah. And it was safe with Richard the King before you Richard, swiped it. Richard, Richard can't help you. I keep you safe. I protect you, so pipe the fuck down. Now get me my comic book back. <laughs> I won't. To outrun time, you know, that would be it. Racing along like the Cardinal Comet. Then we could just disappear into a flash to another place. OK, yeah, it's official. That fucking comic book's co-opting your brain. Those pages have secrets. They can teach us how to survive. You just have to learn how to read them right. Nonsense. We already do. Come on, Sammy. You will get it back for me. OK. All right, I will. Now shush. I ain't afraid of you, you know. <laughs> Aim to weeds for one to soon to be. My boys, my darling boys, what do we do? What's the matter with him? He's pouting. About what? He knows how I feel about this shite. Chewing gum for the brain! He wants to be entertained. Let him read a Midsummer Night's Dream. He's read it, Dad. Yeah. You can be assured there's something he's missed. Go on, Beckett. Fuck off! I'm explaining to you. Sit down, then. Fucker, sit! How much you got here? About $200. Wow, $200. Right. You actually thought you could pay your debts this way. 
Just better than your kids, huh? Take him from the craft. Would you like a bullet in the eye for your father's sins? No? Good. Good. I mean, look at this piece of shit. You think you do a damn thing for you? Stay. I'm thirsty now. Go get me a glass of water, kid, please. So, you think you got it all figured out, don't you, you piece of shit? She never gave them a choice, did you? They enjoy it. Yeah, right. You keep telling yourself that, you sick bastard. What? Javier said. Your turn is up. Wait, 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 wait. What? You were thirsty. Um. Look, uh. That comic book there on the table, that's his first appearance. Silver Age. It's from 1950s. Press what? Check yes, it out. According to the comment. What the hell is this? You don't know what the comment is? <laughs> yeah. It's being auctioned online for like $35,000. <laughs> oh, you're so full of shit. How do you get this? Yeah. Bacon. How do you know my name? Well, he's brave. And you're just a waste of my fucking time, aren't you? I don't know why I bothered to say hello. But you can tell Javier now. We have a guaranteed moneymaker here. What's your little Shakespearean slave? I don't know. He's pissed off with me. He can't handle the fact that I don't take any of his bullshit. Just shut the fuck up! <laughs> Just tell Javier no! Oh, shut up! You can count on me! Tell me up. Javier no! Hey, Brutus. It's Marcus.
she does it so. Well.